Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jen. I'm a 2023 destination wedding bride and I had my wedding at Dreams Playa Mujeres in Cancun, Mexico. So I'm getting this question a lot and I see this a lot on the bride Facebook groups and it's for past brides and they're wondering how much did your wedding cost? So today I wanted to break down my budget planner that I was given from Dreams Ply Mahares. And then I also wanna go over another spreadsheet that I created that breaks down all of the little things that brides tend to forget that they've spent on their wedding. Now I did spend two years planning my wedding. So <laughs> all of this money was spent over a two year span, but I will say that there are little things that I just totally forgot about and I spent a lot of money the month before the wedding. So hopefully with this video, I can also save you a little bit of money and you can buy things before you a month before you go away. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. I'm gonna actually share my screen because I think it's a little bit easier. So I'll go over the budget first and then we'll go over to the other spreadsheet. Okay, so this is the wedding budget planner that Dreams Ply Harris sends to you. So when you sign up for, or when you sign your contract for Dreams Ply Harris, they will send you this planner. And basically what it boils, like what it breaks down to is there is a wedding planner form where you can put all of your information. And then there's a budget planner, your flowers, seating chart, music and programs to give to the DJ. And then if you are going to do any welcome bags and you want them to deliver it, that's where you would put this. So I'm gonna pull up the budget planner. Okay, so these prices have definitely changed. I know that because I booked, like I signed my contract, I think I wanna say in 2021, I think it was. Um, and I knew that prices were going to be going up, I believe in 2023. But because we had booked so early and our contract said the 7,500, I was able to keep that price. So also because I booked well in advance, I was able to use the Beyond Memorable Package. So I do recommend that if you have more than 50 guests that are coming, this is a really awesome package. It includes a lot um, and it was a little bit cheaper to do it this way. So one of the things that I found kind of frustrating about the budget planner is because there are so many packages, this is just a generic planner. So I had to go back to what was included in my package so that I didn't add it on here by mistake and charge myself some money. <laughs> so our budget for the package was 7,500. And then I went through and everything in pink, I tried to mark like, okay, this is included in your package. So you don't have to pay for this. Um, so then we decided that we were going to have sparkling wine for everyone during the toast. Some people choose not to do that. Also keep that in mind. I, I went a little, I wouldn't say bougie, but I went a little bit uh, more than I would do if I had the wedding in the United States. Because for me, locally, I, there, I mean, I don't know where it is around you guys, but locally, like a place could cost $12,000 and that's just for the venue. That doesn't include anything else. And for me, I just, I, I wanted it, I knew it was going to be a week and I wanted to make it memorable for my guests. They were spending money to come to this wedding. Um, so I did go all out for my wedding. <laughs> and I compare it to what I would have spent here for one day, I spent uh, probably the same, but it was for a whole week. So originally we were going to add an additional hour to our reception. And then we decided against that. Um, so that's why we actually added, and I'll go through, like, you'll see it at the bottom. We actually added uh, a bonfire on the beach and you can see how that is. So one of the things that I did not realize in Mexico, you are charged a 16% tax and then a 15% service fee. So when you see the price over here, you actually want to look over here because that is actually what the final price is going to be. So. We had 54 people, so I did six bottles, knowing that we'd probably have some left over, and then that is what it came to. 
Um, I also added the take a shot, find your seat setup, which then came over to here. And then I brought my own sign for that. And I brought my own name tags for the shot glasses, which I made with my Cricut. Um, I also did a margarita station, which I do highly recommend. Unfortunately, <laughs> my husband and I did not get a margarita because we were late to cocktail hour because we were taking photos and my the bustling of my dress took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. But I actually just this morning had a guest text me about what margaritas I had at the wedding because they were craving one and they wanted to make one themselves. So I fully like... I highly recommend doing the margarita station uh, and, and even the take the shot, find your seat because like it, you don't get that around at least n near us. So <laughs> um, I thought that was like a really nice option and my guests really, really enjoyed it. And like I said, they're still talking about it. So that's nice. So this is actually where the rehearsal, like you can add things onto your rehearsal dinner. So I decided against adding anything to the actual rehearsal dinner. I We did do the taco bar. It was the two hours private event. And that was basically included in my Beyond Memorable package. So I did not use the sound system for my rehearsal dinner. I ended up using the sound system for the bonfire on the beach, which I highly recommend because it just added something to this event. So the Bonfire of the Beach is they set up mats for you. They have like pillows. You have s'mores. They have like a whole dessert bar. They have food appetizers. It had string lights. It had an open bar. And it was amazing. And it had like three cocktail tables. And it was so much fun. If this is in your budget, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, but you do have to, so we did it for all 54. Now, not all 54 came. So we probably could have cut this down a little bit. But I with everyone getting in at different times. I didn't know who would come and who wouldn't come, um, but I'm so, so glad that we did add this right <laughs> right before we went to Mexico, we decided to add this. Um, I, in the beginning, thought that the rehearsal dinner included everyone not realizing that it was just a minimum of 30 people. So just keep that in mind. If you are thinking that the rehearsal dinner with the Beyond Memorable Package includes everyone, it does not. So this was just a great way for everyone to get together. Like I said, more people were coming in at different times and then we got to see everyone uh, actually the night before the wedding. So that was great. So coming down here, so we did bring our own officiant. So we didn't do any of this. We uh, actually got married back in the States after the wedding. And that is something that we chose as a couple. Uh, I know a lot of brides will either get married uh, right before they go or right after they go. And we just chose right after because we just wanted that moment to be in Mexico on that date and not beforehand. So we didn't have to do any of this. And then, so as part of the Beyond Memorable Package, you do get white drapes on the gazebo. One is in the front and one is on the back and they're like on opposite corners. We chose to add a tropical, this huge tropical corner arrangement. Uh, I, I I think it was 100% worth it. Marcella knocks it out of the park. And we'll, I can kind of show you right here, actually. Uh, maybe you can't. Actually, I think it's down. I'll, I'll show you like when we get back down to it. Um, oh, here it is. So we added this right here. I did not do this but I did do this. And then we had a drape on this side and then on the back side of the gazebo, we had another drape. And I think it was perfect. I didn't. I wanted the ceremony to be very simple, but still have the added touch of the tropical flowers. I felt <laughs> for me, if I was bringing all my guests to Mexico, I wanted a tropical theme. I didn't really want flowers that you could get back in the States. And I don't know why that ended up down there, but it did. <laughs> Um, okay. So what I did is, was I sent the picture to Marcella and then I waited for her to give me a price and then she was able to give me a price. And then what they did was they took that corner arrangement and they put it on our sweetheart table. And then we were able to put our Mr. And Mrs. sign in on the table, but it was kind of in the flower. So I, in hindsight, I kind of wish I would have done a different color for the Mr. And Mrs. sign because I did rose gold and they kind of blended in so you couldn't really see them. Kind of wish I would have done white. Wasn't thinking ahead of time on there. 
So that was everything that I added to the ceremony. Um, so I didn't add any of this stuff, but they also give you like, you know, different options and, um, yeah, I didn't really, like I said, I really just wanted to keep it kind of simple. I didn't add anything to the aisle. We just went with a simple aisle runner, uh, which was provided by them. And I believe that was also part of the, yeah, that was part of the beyond memorable package. And then also part of the beyond memorable package is the shoe check. And there's like a little sign that says like, check your shoes here. Um, I thought that was cute. It was just like a small addition. If that wasn't part of the package, I honestly, I probably wouldn't have added it. I just, I, because it was offered, I, I did take it. Um, the only other thing that I did add to the ceremony and I will show a picture of this was we rented an easel and a welcome sign from the company Magic Love. They dropped it off and then they picked it up the day after the wedding, which was great. And we just paid like a rental fee and we gave them back all of like the boards and that was that's perfect. That's all I needed. So then what I did was, okay. So I did have five bridesmaids, but then I had my mom and then my mother-in-law and they both did not want corsages, corsages. <laughs> so I uh, did bouquets for both of them. And then I used all seven bouquets plus my bouquet as centerpieces for the reception which worked out perfectly. Could not have gone any better because honestly, what do the bridesmaids do with those bouquets after the ceremony? They just lay them on the table anyway. So I just used them as centerpieces. So I needed seven. I also did seven boutonnieres. So we did um, five groomsmen, my dad, and then we did give one to our officiant, uh, which I thought looked great. I like it like all matched, it was perfect. So then I did rent the vases for the uh, bridesmaids bouquets from the resort. I just felt I already had five bags going to Mexico. So, and I didn't want to risk getting stopped by customs and having to pay for a tax fee or anything like that. So I did bring some decor, but I did not bring a lot of decor. And I, most of the time it was more just me trying to save room and then save myself from getting stopped by customs. But we ended up getting stopped by customs anyway. So, <laughs> um, so I did rent the vases and then I also did monastera leaves under the, under the vases. So it was one for each table and that's what that cost. Now in hindsight, could I have brought those myself? Yes, because they lay flat, but at the same time I was just trying to make it easier on myself and a lot of other things I was like thinking about. Uh, so we did add tropical flowers to our cake. And I, I did this because otherwise the cake is just white and I, like, I'm just not that type of person. I'm not really a simple person. I really like over the top. So I wanted to add flowers and for $32, I think it looked great and it was perfect. And I also wanted some kind of like, I would say like romantic feel. So I did do small, I think I did three candles for each table around the, the vase with the bridesmaids bouquet and they were gold and they were beautiful and it was perfect. Like, because the resort honestly is your decor. So, but that's what that came out to. But like I said, hindsight, probably could have brought them myself, but wanted to save room. So, okay. So when, as part of my package, the, there was an audio system that was included, but I wanted the light up dance floor. I also wanted the MC, which I could have added for 500 bucks. Um, but I also wanted the lights and everything else. I just wanted it to be a huge party and I wanted more speakers. So I upgraded my package and that's what that came to. I also did the cold fireworks. And if you've watched my other videos, you'll know that I probably in hindsight wouldn't have did this because <laughs> it just wasn't planned well. And it actually really scared my husband on the dance floor. So <laughs> In hindsight, I probably wouldn't have done those, but honestly, the picture came out great and I'll put that up. Um, and like, you know, it scared my photographer and stuff like that, but even though I had told her, but she just forgot. So anyway, <laughs> like I said, I don't know if I would have done that. Uh, so I did decide to add the water show, which I thought was amazing. It was so much fun. And we did two drummers and I think, I think there was three drums, um, which isn't on here. So I don't know how she, like Marcella ended up sending me another like 
price list and that's what I used. But that cost that. And then one of the big things was I 100% wanted a mariachi band during cocktail hour. <laughs> Even though, like I said, we were late and we only got to see like one song by them, but we did get pictures with them. Um, and they were so much fun and my guests were still talking about them. And my guests absolutely loved the water show. So let me go back to that. But like my guests loved the water show. Um, I got, we got so many pictures, so many videos. It was interactive. So guests got to come up and bang on the drums. Um, and it was just like a way to get people off, like out of the, off their tables or, you know, out of their chairs and onto the dance floor. So we opened up the dance floor right after the drum show was done. And let's see. So I did hire, um, an external photographer and videographer and I had two of them. So you do have to pay <laughs> an outside vendor fee, which I know is pretty expensive. Um, it does add up and then, but there's no really no way around it, which I mean, I probably could have pushed back on this a little bit, but unfortunately I, I, it was totally worth it for me and I would do it all over again. And then another thing that I wanted to do for my guests was I really wanted the photo booth. So we did add the photo booth. Um, and that was great because that also became our guest book. So it's a little bit cheaper that way. One of the number one reasons why I went with Dreams Ply Maharis is because I saw pictures of the fairy lights. And that was hands down my number one like need <laughs> on my wedding uh, budget list. So if there was, if this, if all of this other stuff wasn't in the budget, I was hundred percent getting the fairy lights. I don't care how, what I had to do to get them. I was getting them. So a thousand percent recommend it. It just totally made the, the reception, like exactly what I was like picturing. It was amazing. Guests talked about it. They like, they just felt like everything was just so like, just great. And, and that like, people are still talking about our wedding and we're like two months away, like two, two months since. Right. So like, yeah, I just, people have come up to me and said it was like the best wedding that they've ever been to. So, um, I also did do external hair and makeup and once again, did have to pay that fee, which like I said, it's a little expensive, but, <laughs> um, totally worth it. And a thousand percent, I would do it all over again because I love my hair and makeup and, uh, the girls love their hair and makeup as well. This giant love light up letter letters was a last minute ad. I didn't know if it was gonna be in the budget and it wasn't a big deal if I didn't have it, but I really did want them. And then actually the day that we met with Marcella when we were at the resort, I had happened to see someone do their initials actually, like J and M, um, the night before. And I was like, is there any way possible we could switch it to J and M? And she said, if it's available, we'll do it. If not, we'll just do the love. And it ended up being available and perfect. And I absolutely loved that. So this breaks down basically. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. This breaks down uh, our wedding package. The Basically, this was what we, what did we do here? This was, I think this was, um, I think this was the, sorry, I'm drawing, drawing a blank here. Um, this was the bonfire on the beach. And then ceremony, which was included stuff. And then, yeah, so this is all the, <laughs> so which brought me up to this grand total. And then when you sign your contract, you do have a $750 deposit and I'd already made that. So which brought it down to here. I don't know if this is, is exact. I think it is, but um, we ended up paying at the resort in, in one, like one payment. Uh, we could have made payments before we went, but I wasn't sure what it, the final total was going to be. And I was nervous about all that. So we just paid right at the resort, which ended up totally working out. Okay. So then let's just go to here. So this is also just, you know, you kind of tell her like what you're looking for. Um, I basically showed her pictures. I don't think it's on here. I think it's on here. Um, I showed her pictures. Ooh, sorry. These, th this jumps around a lot. Um, I showed her a picture of what I was looking for and she nailed it. So I didn't get to see the photo. I mean the picture, I'm sorry. I didn't get to see the flowers before they came the day of the wedding. Um, I just told her exactly what I was looking for and she made it happen. So that worked out perfectly. 
Okay, so let's go over to the wedding expense report. Okay, so these are all little things that I just did not think of or that I bought in that two year span. So this actually just breaks down exactly what the total was of our wedding. Um, keep in mind, I bought an insane amount of clothes for our honeymoon. Um, I bought all like basically all new wardrobe. So, Ooh, sorry. Um, okay. So our total cost for the wedding and, um, there ended up being like a $200 fee when we ran, ran our card, which was fine. Um, this is what I paid for hair and makeup. This is what I paid for photography and videography. Um, my dress alterations was insanely expensive. <laughs> um, I had to bring my dress in three sizes. So I bought my dress in 2021 and I lost oh, 50 pounds and I needed to bring my dress in three sizes plus the bustle. So that was like a very hefty fee that I didn't realize I was going to have the week before the wedding. So that kind of sucked. Um, <laughs> and then my veil I got off of Etsy. So like little things that like I just wasn't thinking of. So bridesmaid gifts, groomsmen gifts, parent gifts, um, decor, welcome bag stuff, getting ready outfit. Like these are things that you don't have to like do, but I just, these are, you know, I just really wanted these things. Um, obviously the outside vendor fees, you don't really need that cake topper. I had bought a silicone or silicone rings to wear after the wedding when we went on excursions. Um, once again, you don't have to do the excursions that we did. Uh, we ended up spending probably a little over $2,000 on all of our excursions with the photo packages. Um, which I, once again, I totally think was totally worth it. Um, we did fly Southwest and I tried to get deals on our, uh, flights, but they ended up like all said and done, they were about 800 bucks. I did have one extra bag going there. So I did have to pay an extra fee. And then we had long-term parking and we did stop at the Margaritaville in the Cancun airport. And let me just say that is probably the best guacamole that I've ever had. It was so good. So if you, and uh, like the portions there are huge. So if you can stop there on the way back or the way there, I a thousand percent recommend that one too. I did add the cost of our stay in here. Um, so we booked the junior suite preferred oceanfront room with a private pool. Um, but we did get upgraded to a master suite, which that does not include that because I really don't know what the cost of that was. We did, um, have to have dog care and cat care, um, here while we were gone. Uh, so I did add that in. You also have tips. So we spent a good amount of money on tips. So we tipped, I mean, you know, you've tips just for being there, like, you know, drinks and stuff like that. I tipped hair and makeup, um, Marcella, the DJ and the MC, my officiant, uh, the person that dropped off my easel and the maracas. Like there were so many other things that, like I said, add up and you just don't think about. So with the welcome bags, like, and then here's the thing, you don't have to do these things. Like I, this is just things that I did. So I brought I, like the groomsmen gifts, right? It was, <laughs> I got their belts, sunglasses, knives, socks. Like there were so many different things. Um, my girls, I bought all of them pajamas to wear. Uh, I paid for all for their hair and makeup. They had barefoot sandals, jewelry, uh, beach bags. Like I tried to Oh, and their hangers. Yeah, I bought hangers and stuff like that. Um, some of our guests had, was one of them, my uncle was retiring and then Mike's cousins were celebrating their 20th anniversary. And then Mike's cousin was also celebrating her birthday. So I went and got banners made for them. Um, my mom and my mother-in-law, we went on Etsy and got them evening bags with a personalized, uh, a personalized picture in the in, inside and you know like things like that just things like I bought the table numbers um we bought a new GoPro before we went I'm so glad that we did that because that like totally made it so much better uh portable chargers I all of the picture frames that I bought for the signs that went into that 
the guest book for the photo booth. I bought that on Amazon. Thank gosh that came really, that came super fast. Um, because I thought that they were strips and they're actually four by six pictures. Just keep that in mind if you do that. And so the cake topper, the tape, like I said, table numbers, the maracas, the welcome sign. What else? Oh, we ended up buying a shelf when we got home. I don't know why he kind of had that in there. Um, a shelf when we got home and it was for all of our wedding memorabilia. Um, so that people, when they come over, they can see it. And there's just things that we bought like hair products. <laughs> um, let's see. I, oh, I did buy hair extensions, <laughs> strapless bra, water shoes. And like I said, I spent a good amount of money on Shein for a grand total of $53,000. So once again, it's just Keep in mind, $53,000 got us a 12 day stay, airfare, our entire wedding, and what else? Our excursions, like that's everything all, all included. And this was over a two year period. So like, don't think that I just spent this like, <laughs> and like some people spend that, like keep in mind, some people spend this on one day, one day in the States. So just see what you're getting for that money and try, try and compare it that way. So if you are thinking about doing a destination wedding, you can do it on a budget. Like don't think that you have to do exactly what I did. I, like I said, just wanted to go a little over the top for my guests who were paying to be there. And I knew I was getting way more stuff included in that $50,000 or $20,000. You don't have to spend everything I did. But keep in mind, like people spend that for one day in the United States. And so that was what I kept saying to myself was, my guests are going to love this. They're going to talk about this for the rest of their lives. Some people probably would have never gone to Mexico if ever in their lot in their uh, life if I did not have my wedding there. So not only was it an experience for me, it was also an experience for them and they got a vacation out of it. And like I said, everyone really really enjoyed themselves. So I really hope that this video helped in breaking down what a wedding, a destination wedding could actually cost or what it could not cost like cuz you could probably look at me and be like, "All right, well I'm not going to do any of those things. I really just want to do the package and what's included and our stay and then that's it. And like I said, you could totally, totally do that. I will have everything linked down below of what I did purchase off of Amazon and all the other things. And if you have any questions, please comment down below. I can send you my budget planner. Like I said, I know that a lot of the prices have changed. Um, they've gone up, but you can at least get an idea of what would I did add and I can kind of show you what I added and how much that was. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more destination wedding videos and I will see you on the next one.